because part of efforts to mitigate a growing food insecurity in the southern African country, Zimbabwean authorities are planning to import more maize to prevent supply crises. As the government intends to partner with the private sector to, for maize importation, last year's shortfalls during the rainy season to within the region triggered the high increase in price, of course, in grain prices. While authorities initiate measures to remedy the situation, prices of maize are also on the rise, leaving them with a big ambition to boost agricultural production in the country. Let's have more details of that in this report. Zimbabwe's 2021-22 maize harvest was 1.8 million tons, 400,000 tons short of its annual requirement. Government plans to release 59,000 tons from the reserves and is allowing private players to import grain from neighboring countries. However, the poor rainfall that subdued harvests here also affected traditional source markets including Zambia and Malawi, which means grain supplies are costlier. So it means even for our imports, uh, we will need to fork out more. Grain prices have gone up. Which means our foreign currency requirement for imp grain have, will also go up. And we have already a situation where we have uh, not enough of our reserves. So it means that uh, uh, the quantities that we are going to import are going to be very, uh, are going to be affected by the uh, capacity to import. The price of maize meal is expected to go up at a time the government is trying to contain skyrocketing prices. Measures introduced to try to slow down depreciation of the local currency and galloping inflation such as raising bank lending rates could exert more pressure on prices of basic commodities. As milling industry, we are now engaging the, the, the Reserve Bank to say yes, we agree with, the, with what you are trying to do, but uh, when it comes to food inflation, this is the impact. It will, it will cause us, uh, uh, us to increase price purely on account of uh, interest rates rising. While imports will avert food shortages in the short term, government plans to intensify production in the long term. Zimbabwe is aiming to bounce back from the current shortfall and to restore food self-sufficiency. Government has set itself an ambitious target to produce 3 million tons of grain in the upcoming 2022-2023 agricultural season. To achieve it, early preparations are key. We just pray that uh, we have a good season. Um, uh, and also that uh, there should be a deliberate uh, effort action to finance agriculture to support agriculture, uh, to, to already start now to uh, import fertilizer even at the prices that we are talking about because we are talking about food here. So I think uh, it is about preparedness uh, and also allocation of resources to agriculture. Farmers are exempt from the new bank lending rates and will be able to access concessionary funding in order to improve production.